Today's tech tip is easy interactive tools from Epson. These are free tools that work with uh, any kind of interactive board. In fact, if you want to get a copy at home, just hop out to Google and search for easy interactive tools and click on the, the first Epson link there and it'll take you to a download page where you can get the latest version for free. Now this is already installed on your school laptop, so if you click on the start button and just type easy for easy interactive tools, it should find the software on your computer, click on the icon, and it'll start the application. You can see there's a toolbar across the top, a toolbar down the right side, and uh, an interactive window in the center that asks you what you'd like to do. Uh, mainly you're either going to do desktop annotation or use a whiteboard. Let's start with desktop annotation. I'm going to click that and it doesn't really look like it did anything other than the desktop an annotation icon is highlighted. That means I can write directly on my desktop. So I could use the interactive tools and I could draw, I could type text, and this is on top of whatever happens to be running on my computer. So if I erase this and uh, start a browser, I could use the interactive tools and I could uh, mark on the, the browser to point out something I want my students to see. Now the other mode is whiteboard mode. So if I, at the beginning, were to say, give me a new whiteboard, it does just that. It gives me a new whiteboard. And I can write on this just like a, any whiteboard. If I click the add a new page icon, it will add a new blank page and I can continue to write on that. The index page will list all the pages that I've created, so I could click to go back to a page or wherever I want to go in the series. And if this is important, I can just click the Save button and save this as a file to put online or distribute to my students whatever I wanted to do with it. I can at any time go back to desktop annotation mode and it goes right back to where I was and it doesn't lose any of the things that I created. So I could save my desktop annotations just like I could save a whiteboard. So these are the easy interactive tools, free tools from Epson.